Prepare for trouble. Make a devil. To protect the world from devastation. To unite all peoples within our nation. To denounce the evils of truth and love. To extend our reach to the stars above. Jesse. James. Team Rocket, blast off at the speed of light. Surrender now, or prepare to fight. Meow, that's right. Aloha cousins, welcome it is a dormant here again. Open the door with Pokemon Team Rocket Edition. Uh, don't forget to like the video, subscribe for more content, and ding that bell for notifications on me and Gamer's channel to check out when we post videos and stuff. How are you doing, my man? I believe you were on the right over here. Yeah, um, no, I'm no, on the left. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on your right. Yeah, I'm, I'm on, you're on my left. <laughs> I was thirsty, but I'm okay now. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> no, you're totally good. Okay, I remember this uh, the earlier though when I was maybe going through and checking everything out. What in the? You think you just waltz in and see yourself for your expertly, painstakingly crafted top grade bicycles? Who do you think you are? Oh, rocket! Is that it? You think it's cool? Do you stealing the fruits of other men's labor is cool? Taking your greedy, whatever your greedy hands get on with a regard for yes. the well-being needs of this region's people, regardless, is cool. Yes. <laughs> Body, but everything is wrong with the world. Immortal young, immortal youngsters walking yes. around like you own everything. It's like I fought in the war. War. Oh, okay, I thought maybe he would give it to you if he kept saying yes. Okay, because uh, I, I, I eventually stopped. I eventually said no because I'm like that'd be kind of cool in the video for us like to steal a bike. Right, exactly. I thought it'd be kind of cool, but no. Yeah, I think okay. we go back into the base over here in the uh, nurse in the right. rock warehouse over here. Yep, we do. Go way right over here. Yeah. All right, you guys, you're not gonna believe this. The cops right now. I was gonna about the to talk sauce. to the cops. It's really fair. We got me before they ask the cops right now. But but you think we're also worked up over? What are they going to do? You think they're onto us? When they come seen us, we were like real stuff. Got no reason to think it it was us. Not some other old bird, like have they? Come on, you can't know if at least one of us didn't slip up and get spotted at some point. I mean, I'm sure it doesn't take a genius of a bystander to spot a group of rockets running around in a, and a house being robbed and somehow connecting to, does it? Uh, That's enough. Please be quiet, all. No, you're okay, good. There should be no reason for alarm. Police have arrived with the scene a lot quicker than they usually do, granted, but there's no reason for them to suspect us in particular just yet. And even if they did well, got enough influence in the Kanto Police Department to ensure the re repercussions for us will be minimal. No, this is far too long packed episode for them to take any de definite action. Unless, of course. Hey guys, check this out. It's on the TV. Get all the hair quick. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're like, what? Wait, find some other place to watch. Okay, I, I guess I'm back over here where I can't even see it myself. Might as well, yeah. A round connector of technical machines earlier today, a victim of vicious robbery while it was really at home. Police arrived at the scene shortly after the incident, but are able to catch the perpetrators before they made their escape. Our own Northern Kento reporter, four regular reports from the scene. I don't even know what happened. I was just a bummer. I got to hike Mount Moon, and I came back, and all my harder TMs were gone. And I got it all planned. Played all your teachers here at DMD to some little sash or make you, or what have you now. And now it's all gone. Then they dug the giant hole right through my wall. I mean, these crooks are digging their way into no good, I say. Truly not every tale for this poor homeowner. I understand that your daughter here was out playing the vicinity when this incident took place and that she, in fact, was witness to some of the actions of the criminals responsible. Now, miss, would you mind explaining to us exactly what you saw? Well, you know, I don't know if it was the same people. There was a creepy guy who tried to rob me earlier. Truly shocking. Yes, he was a real funny looking guy. Green hair and these weird black pajamas. Oops. I wonder who has green hair. Right, exactly. Somebody messed up. Yeah, we thought we I think. Ronnie. Yeah. Now, Mr. Officer, let us understand the aid of this young lady's description. The Kenton Police Department has gotten rather a good idea who might be behind this crime. Uh, yeah, that's correct. Variation of footprints, well, the speed in which the operation was carried out, make it clear that the burglary was carried out by a larger group working together. Furthermore, uniforms described by the witness leave no doubt in their investigation's minds. Team Rocket was behind this most heinous crime. 
You heard it here first, viewers. The Kenton Police Department believes, in other words, that the burglary was an act of organized crime by the notorious anti-government organization Team Rocket. Can't believe I didn't get tongue-tied. Positively nerve-wracking to think these wretched criminals are currently on the loose, roaming the streets. Viewers are advised to guard their holes and their Pokemon. Oh, okay. In light of this other reported crimes with this criminal organization, we reached out to Champion Lance for a comment. Oh, voices. <clears throat> Come to my attention that the Kanto region has recently been the victim of several acts of organized crime at the hands of this Team Rocket. Also led to believe this organization has perpetrated a number of lesser crimes, primarily around the Celadon area, but that local police force has had a tendency to turn a blind eye to this misdemeanors. With Spurgley, as well as recent reports of similar machinist behavior on Mount Moon at the Pokemon Tower in Lavender, rivals have proved themselves to pose a genuine threat to regional security. All of this is, of course, completely unacceptable. I have therefore decided to initiate a new program to combat organized crime. We'll bring the rockets to justice. Stationary federal, pol federal police agents in every major city across the region. These specifically trained, morally impervious forces will actively combat larger criminal operations, provide victims of crimes with a safe avenue in which to report their perpetrators. Oh my gosh. Furthermore, as of today, each and every divided member of Team Rocket is a wanted criminal. Every Pokemon report is stolen by each member, the bounty on his head or her head will increase. Public bounty should help raise awareness of some of the citizens of Kanto by the region's more notorious criminals. In addition to informing authorities of their whereabouts, citizens are advised to stay away from, especially to avoid arresting and assisting in any way, these individuals. Businesses such as Pokemon are also encouraged to deny service to wanted criminals in order to prevent undue damage to their reputation. Aw, oh, crap. Yes, of course, uh, equally engaged criminals who choose to renounce their past evil deeds called law-abiding citizens again. Like, that just sucks. I'm about to become a big, bouncy person. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, police officers have been rules of who have kept a record of good behavior over long periods. Lance, why do you have a lot of stuff? You say... Measures we move confidently in the direction of crime-free Kento. No thugs, blah, blah, blah. That is all. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that was not talking. There's more talking. Oh. Please, cops, Metro. That's what we're going to do. Man, I don't want to go to jail. Ronnie, you were this piece of crap. We got the police and the government on our heels. All because you couldn't keep yourself from robbing every little girl you came across. Hey, Bug Bug. Yeah, you what can you <laughs> oh, no, go, go ahead. Why can't you just do the mission like the rest of us? Huh? Always had to be the hothead, didn't you? But, but bad guys, give me a break. I was supposed to not know the brat was Collector Guy's daughter. Just doing exactly what all you do. Matter of fact, I bet your sticky asses would have done exactly what it did if you have had half the chance, you dumb little. It's not grunt, but grunt. grunt to be. Lance, that son of a grand bull, pretended to be like he hasn't known about Operation for ages already. Ridiculous. Grunts, the day Lance gives us a ratata ass about Kanto safety will be the day I die. Clearly they decided now would be a good time to seem like a do-gooder for the press. Yeah, is it canonic? Isn't it like in the manga he was part of Team Rockets? Nope, yep, he was one of the top yep. people. The, all of the Elite Four was. Oh. I think all of the Elite Four, yeah. Buddy Pulp, to which you and your family would be beaten should you ever reveal any confidential information. The police should be not news to you anyway. I don't care what any of you to get the police on your tail or not. You rob or refrain from robbing as you see fit, and then you personally suffer whatever consequences come from that. I might also add that, however, morally impervious Lance thinks the special cops are. He had a man to a can't a policeman who's totally immune to bribery. Anyhow, the bottom line is keep doing as you're told. Yeah. Still get to be Pokemon gangsters? Don't be stupid about it, alright? Yeah. Whew. Well, won't pretend that my capacity to forgive and praise to anyone at all was a little hampered just now, but I'll try my best. Great work on your mission. You saved our poor gone supply, you've done it without even having to expand more resources than we could afford. Personally commend you to boss for a job well done. So in good conscience, I trust you with another high stakes mission. I'll get right down to it. Kara involved in a smuggling deal with a certain gym leader down in Vermilion City. That's right, given his rather public status as a Kanto veteran from the war, it should come as no surprise that Surge happens to be a rocket sympathizer. Anyway, the good lieutenant has managed to get a number of rare Johto Pokemon smuggled into the SS Anliner, and that's just about the dock at the Vermilion Harbor. Hand them over to us in exchange for some goods that our scientists have synthesized in the lab here in the other room. Go pick them up and then head over 
south of here through Saffron to get to Vermilion City. Rocket Admin we stationed there is a bit of a downer, but you should probably meet up with him just to lend yourself a bit more credibility when dealing with Surge. I got all that. We're going to go to Vermilion City, get me some more encounters, and we're going to be good to go. Yep, and I'm going to have a big battle. And I can't believe I didn't get tongue-tied during that, like, at all, honestly. Yeah, no, like, I did not realize that this game was heavy dialogue. <laughs> Yes, we. I don't. Think neither one of us thought that because I'm just like, holy crap, it's gonna be heavy. Dialogue. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, okay. So, okay. So I had just. I just have to know. I just have to know. I just have to know. Hi, people. How you doing today? Hi there. Okay, I can still buy stuff. Okay, cool. I'll take that actually. Uh, oh, I think we have to go through like the thing in the middle, like up there and kind of like the underground. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Walkway, up here. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see. It's gonna be right. All right let me here. see what you say, y'all. Underground path lead to Route Six, isn't it? Angela should come to the right place. You see. Either is he gonna be. Hey, Popo. Well, what up? Well, you rocks her. Those are also my lands. But no, no, I won't be. Those are my orders. I'm here to facilitate your rehabilitation. Ooh. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Yes. I'll There's take no fire here at all. That's what I like to see. The more rose, the more I won't be. Nah. Son of a biscuit. I'm going to be a jerk. Okay, I'm gonna go back and talk to the cop that was back up here because I really don't know where to go. Yeah, well, he said go through Vermilion. Yeah, so that's weird. Let's see here. Sludge Bomb, Cracker King Clean for long enough. Okay, there's no bounty I like to see. Wait, I don't think you'll be able to get any of this stuff. I won't. Yeah! <laughs> what the I'm hell? So sorry. Uh, okay, maybe we missed something in the base. Maybe we missed something in the base. Okay, yeah, good point. Let's go back to the base and see what's on over there. Okay, let me see. Let's talk to you. Just see what we're going to do now. I'm going to keep being badasses. Say, get some kind of rewards program for the most. Ooh, okay. For being a jerk? So I get things from the cops. Oh, I get things from Rocket. Nice. Okay. No, you don't do anything. <laughs> One more cat video. Okay, so we have to get the steroids from one of the things. I think that's what activates us to be able to go oh, down there. Oh, God, okay. Okay, maybe that was it, because I was just like, we're probably missing something. Right, and thanks to you, if we got it figured out. All right, well, now let's head down through Saffron. Whee! Okay, so who do you talk to for the rewards thing? Probably. Oh, this he's on guy. now. All right, trainers, it's time to steal some Pokemon from Mules. Woo! Hello, Paris. What's the last Pokemon? Caterpie. I'll I'll take <laughs> Paris here. Well, you don't have to take any of these Pokemon from the route. You can wait a little bit. You gonna take a Paris? Paris is well, pretty good. Well, what, what I do is I steal all of them, but then I decide which Pokemon I'm gonna keep. Oh, I see what you're saying. That's not too bad. Yeah. Whoa, okay, there's a lot of people here, I just realized. Are these trainers? No, they're not. Okay, that was something else. I'm good, you know. Okay. Wait a minute. What's up? Can I steal the Butterfree, actually? I w no, actually, no, I'm probably not going to take Butterfree. I wonder if... Uh, okay, I, I kind of realize what the underground is made for. What's it made for? <laughs> uh, it, it's an adult ring. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I was like, kind of. The first one, like, you gotta light their hands, and I'm like, okay. And she's like, you look kind of lonely. He he he. And I was like, okay. And then it just would continue. What? Oh. Okay, I figured that out. Okay, okay. Like, like, I need an adult. Fighter's dead! <laughs> I need an adult! Oh, no, fighter. Oh, crap. No, 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 no,
Okay, no, we're not. We're running away. Thank you. Okay, I'm getting my encounter for this route. I need to put 420 out here. Okay, but yeah, so it seems like if you do the bad deeds, you get stuff from Team Rocket. If I keep good, I will get stuff from the cops. Nice. That's kind of cool, actually. Okay, so for, let me see how the Pokemon you can actually take from here. And, okay, so these are all the Pokemon. I don't have a Pidgey. I don't have a Pidgey. Okay. Uh, Sleep Powder. It's a Pidgey of it. I don't think I'm going to not catch it. Okay, between all these <gasps> Pokemon here, I'm thinking I'm going to do Bellsprout, actually. Bellsprout? Not too bad. You can buy a Leaf Stone. Exactly, yeah. Because I already have a Metapod still, so I still have to evolve it. Yeah. Okay, we're going to Sleep Powder you back again. Which I'm not really going to do anything with Pidgey because I have Spiro. Spiro is the ultimate bird Pokemon. Look at all the Pokemon I've stolen. I was talking about it with... Huh? Look at the Pokemon I've stolen so far. I'm a jerk. Holy crap. Give a nickname to Pidgey. Oh yeah, I keep thinking, why is it to show up the Pokedex entry? Because we don't have a Pokedex. My, my. Front bear in the flesh. Give you these three Ultra Balls to keep your record clean for long enough to so keep it cool. So let's see here. I see worse my age, but you're on a dangerous path, Rocket. Fifty thousand fucking Holy dollars! Holy crap! Holy crap! Actually. Oh, you could hand in the Pokemon and get your record cleaned if you wanted to, but that would probably uh, derail your uh, morality if anything. Well, yeah. Or you could bribe him. Oh, you could bribe him. It's not him. worth me to bribe oh. him, though, because he has Ultra Balls. I don't use balls. Yeah. Okay, I'll make a quick cut. All right, cool. Okay. I'm just going to do it this way. We'll just have to do cuts, just because that way I don't want to not hit a button. Right, makes sense, makes sense. Okay. Alrighty, blop, we are back. Okay. But that's kind of cool, though. You, I, I wonder how much is it to bribe him. I wonder how much it is to bribe him. And by the way, I already know exactly what your EV is going to be. Oh, what is it? Alright. <laughs> it's an E. Ah! No! No! We're not doing that today! No! Fake out! Okay, there we go. Honestly, Technician Giovanni fake out works really well. Yeah, I'm sure it does. Okay, my defense draw. Splinter, take Farfetch'd out. No, Thank I do have a Spiro, but not for you. All right, I still have okay, okay. I need to heal, I need to heal, I need to heal, I need to heal. I need to heal Gamer. I need to heal Gamer. <laughs> Wings. Uh, I've got one more level before he evolves into Butterfree. Ooh, I can get a Diglett. That's be nice, actually. Yeah, so I'm like, there's no That's Diglett's here, but I'm like, oh, wait, no, man, there's Diglett's. Yeah. I'm gonna get rid of the come on quick attack baby let's go <gasps> wings is about to evolve yeah uh oh i'm danger. gonna make a choice there because i'm gonna want that oh yeah give me the flashlight oh it's a flashlight yeah there's no okay, way that's by cool, looks like. actually yes baby you look for what oh abra abra okay okay I don't... oh i never got to catch an abra nope Although I like Alec is that better than Mr. Mine, but we can't evolve him. Can I, we? I don't see why you wouldn't be able to in this game. I don't think they would pull pull something where it's like, oh hey, you can't evolve this Pokemon because it's a trade. Yeah, time by the way, time set myself. I get to, I get to have a Butterfree. Whoa! Is that a shiny? Yeah. I'm gonna kill it. No! Don't kill it! <laughs> Catch it! It's killed. Thank you for liking today's episode. Please watch more uh, later. And as one of those, um, I'm gonna see everybody next time. I don't like him no more. I need, I need another partner, hey, man. Like, Cause you don't kill a shiny. I do kill shiny. No, you don't kill shinies. No, I, no, I am applying for a new partner. Okay. Uh, rule number one: you don't kill shiny. Rule number two: what? Okay. Rule number two: when I have the meanest morale ever, I kill a shiny. You're lucky I want my encounters because if you, 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 you don't kill shinies. Maybe you don't, but I do. No, you can't. Uh, 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 at least in this one. Like, I know what the title's gonna be, but I still don't like you at all. 
I still don't like. How much money do I have? I can't. I can't tell how much money I have. I just realized that I can't tell how much money I have. I can't get a flashlight because I don't have any money. <laughs> Eat it. All right. Well, I got me a thing like you don't get to speak, Master. Eat it. You don't get to speak. Yes, I do. I have steroids. Okay, it's kind of funny. It's another little steroid thing that's kind of cool, actually. But no, you don't get to speak anymore. I'm sorry. No. Yep, I still get to speak. Go. Yes. Okay, I got a diglet over here. Is it levitating? I think it's levitating. Do you agree with me that it's levitating? Oh, it definitely is levitating, yeah. Uh, what am I going to name it? I'm gonna name it. I wanna name it Susan. I don't know why. I just wanna name it Susan. I know what the title's gonna be. Oh, I'm sure. I, I'm sure I know it as well. <laughs> it's like I know what the title's gonna be. And it's one of those like, yeah. I'm gonna get a shiny because it's one of those. You gotta come to my squad now. Okay, that's what's gonna happen. Like that was a full on shiny it too. Was? Like that's the part that was more upsetting than that's anything. That's hilarious. It's a full on like, and I killed it. Yes. Ekans. Oh, I wish I would have caught that back in Celadon because this would have been dupes. That sucked. Oh well, that's fine. Uh, I don't think it. Acid or absorb. Um, both not gonna be very effective. Like, yeah. very not effective, so either or you're good. Oh, hey, I never put it to sleep. Let me do that, actually. You do that first, actually, yeah. Okay, because I think this is all the Pokemon we can get, because you weren't able to get the good rod, were you? No. That was a jerk. Okay. Okay, uh, Wings is level 10. Wings is level 10. We can do this. Tackle. Oh, hey, Wings. I'm wrapped. I can't get out. Okay, that's fine. I was going to put it to sleep. Come on, Ekans. Come on, Ekans. No one Come dies. on, Ekans. How's what you get for losing a shiny? <laughs> Every death now is going to be because you lost a shiny. <laughs> like, the combat section is going to go after you. I'm sorry. Oh, the combat section exactly will go after you. Bring it. Bring it, bitch. Oh, I'm sorry. They will definitely <laughs> attack you. I'm going to call this Junior. Because I'm Jesse, right? Or am I James? No, you're, I'm. Uh... You're Jesse. Okay. Yeah, this is Junior. This is my Junior. <laughs> okay, so let me because yeah, you said you weren't able to get the good rod. Let me go try here real quick. Uh, and Bell's Sprout died. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay. If I fished up for you, what do you say? Okay, now listen. I got these two brothers. One a fusion, one on Route Twelve. I'm the fishing guru. Don't have the experience in the fishing game as I do. But I've seen the pounds and lakes around Kanto. Young, attractive trainers fishing about with my brother's rods. Why? Somehow better than mine, I can possibly be. Why don't you go spy on them for me? Do you understand? Once you get to the bottom, what's so special about these rods are reported to me. Pry from their dead hands if you have to. Okay. I don't think he did that with you, did he? No, because I said yes. I... Wait, he... did he say yes to me? He didn't even ask me a question. Or I, maybe I said something, I just wasn't reading the dialogue. Maybe, because I think I just got the family uh, thing, family reputation too. Oh, oh right, that's true, yeah, because you have a better reputation than I do. Because let me see, if I speak to him yeah. here, he says, of course you must tell him that I said pry it. Oh. Okay, so you might have what just went past it. Yeah. Okay. Rapid as isn't it? You have good tape. Can I not have the bike, though? You're quite the villain! 36,000 Pokemon dollars! Dang, my bounty is gonna be nothing. You're gonna have a high bounty on your hands. What is with that weird Pidgey sprite? Oh my gosh. Oh, interesting. So I bribed them to lower my bounty. Okay. That's not too bad. Okay. But I can't tell how First off, Bellsprout's that. dead, and I'm putting you in there as well, and I'm moving everybody else. Into over here as well, cause I need an I need another stone. I need one more stone. I kind of realized that I could have bought one. I could have bought my leaf stone a little bit later. Mm -hmm. 
Professor Folk's AIDS. No, that's AIDS. <laughs> that's AIDS. A I D E S. I like those kind of things. Okay. But, um, um, okay, so there's no more encounters that I can get. Nope. Which kind of sucks. Um, I was hoping to get the fishing rod because then I could have got a magic card. Mm -hmm. Could have had Gyarados. You know, scared. Wait! We can't use Butterfree. Why? It's cute. Oh. I just realized that. Okay. Yeah, Beedrill I could use because it's evil, but I can't use Butterfree. I just realized that. Oh, darn it, you're right. <laughs> I'm putting Metapod in the box, then. well, that sucks. Yeah, okay, so Crow Big Crobat is scary. Beedrill's scary. Pidgeot, uh, half and half, I'd say. Wait, so if, we're, it's so if I can't use Metapod, then I'm looking at other Mount Boom counters real quick to put in like, yeah. a good replacement. Would you call Doug Drio cute? Oh, well, I have the one Mount Moon. Okay. I would not call the trio cute, no. Well, let me ask you this. Huh. I only have one Mount Moon, so can I token it for somebody else? Yeah. Alright, cool. Um. Because uh, I just thought about that. Butterfree is a, you know, a butterfly. We can't use butterflies. Oh, I'm, I'm putting it... <laughs> and we already know I'm putting in Voltorb as my token. Okay. Yeah, that works. Okay, that should be at a work. All right, what I'll do, we'll do, uh, we'll do team adjustment next episode. Yep, that works. I just was thinking about that. I'm like, wait a minute, we can't. I can't use yep. Butterfree. He's, also, by the way, we're at 26 minutes right now. Yeah, I was gonna end off the episode. Thank you everybody for watching today's episode. Please like the video; it does help out with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe to me and Gamer. I know you are at either at 300 or you're close to. 300. I'm at 300. Alrighty, we're trying to get you to 350 or 400. Uh, 500 is my next goal. 500. Oh, he going to big one. He going to big e? one. At the time of recording, I am at. I think you're at 190. 190. We are 10 away from the mini goal and then 60 away from the big goal. So we just need 10 more people and then you get to see something special. With that, I'll be seeing everybody next time. Bye.